Hello and welcome back. Today I am going to walk you through the entire process of cloning any website using Elementor. And the best part, this method is completely free. Not only that, but I will also show you how to take any Figma design and transform into a fully functional Elementor web page. Before we dive in, let's take a look the web page we will clone for this tutorial. And for demonstration purposes, we will only focus on this hero section. But keep in mind, you can easily apply this method to clone the entire page using the same technique I will show you later in this video. And before we start, if you are enjoying this content and finding it helpful, I would really appreciate if you could take a moment and subscribe this channel. It helps support my work and ensures you won't miss out any future tutorial like this one. Thank you so much for your support. It's mean a lot. Now we will clone this website on easy three steps. And this is the step one. Go to Google and search for Web2 Figma. Now particularly we are looking for a Google extension here. And if you are using any other browser, you can get the extension like Microsoft Edge. You can search for this extension. Right now we are in the Google Chrome and we will select the third link here. And this is the extension. We need to install this extension. Click on Add to Chrome. It's going to take a few seconds. And yep, we have this extension. Now let's spin it so it will be easier to access. Now let's go to the figma.com here. Now I have a separate Figma account for this tutorial. You can use your Figma account and I'm creating a separate file for easy to manage but you can use any existing file you have on your Figma and we just name this file Squid Game Hero section so it will be easier to navigate. Now our work is done here. Now we will close this tab. Now we will search for Web2 Figma which is basically a Figma plugin. You can see the first link. Uh, this is a Figma plugin. So click on that. It will redirect you to the plugin page and this is the plugin. So if you are using Chrome, you will see the open in option. Click on that and you will get the Squid Game Hero section, which is the file we just created on our Figma. So click on that and it will open up the Figma. Now it will open the recent file we created on Figma and it's going to take a bit time to load properly the plugin. Meanwhile, let's talk about the methods. So basically there are two methods. One is you can import any design with a URL and the second option is you will use the Chrome extension we installed. So if you take a look here, you will see insert a URL option. If you insert any URL and click on import, of course there are some limitation like uh, you will get only three import per month with this plugin. And the second option is you can use the Chrome uh, extension. In this way, we tried a few times and most of the time the Chrome, you, uh, the Chrome extension was the more accurate than the URL one. So we will use this one for that. You need to log in with your Figma account for this extension and we are done. Now let's just refresh this page and click on the extension again. Here you can do the section uh, here you can select a section or you can select the entire page. But I highly recommend you to go for section because in that way it will be more accurate and sometime due to the animation. For an example, uh, if we are talking about we have multiple sections and when the extension is scrolling this page due to some animation, the page structure broke down. So I highly recommend you to do this section. But in our case, we have only one section, so we don't have any problem to go with the full page. Next, we have theme, light and dark. I highly recommend you to go with the light version because uh, sometimes the dark uh, section was not properly recognized and it, it got messed up in the Figma. So let's just select on the light version here. And here you can select the sizes as well, but our goal is to make it responsive on Elementor, not in Figma. So we will just select the uh, current browser width. You can go to the desktop version, but uh, I recommend you to go to the current browser width because this website is more than 440 pixels. Now everything is set up. Just click on full page and wait for the 
extension to properly capture this page. Uh, the extension is properly take uh, properly captured the page and you can see you will have option to save where you want to save let's just go with the landing page here and click on save okay as the page is captured properly now we need to go to the plugin page and click on open in and select the file we just created on figma so this is the file and click on run once you click on run it will open the plugin and here you will see a collection option here and as you can see we have our landing page and inside the landing page we have the uh, web page we just captured and on the landing page uh, we need to click on add to figma and it's gonna add the file by mistake I choose the light and dark version both that's why you can see the two separate version but we will only work on the light version it will be easier okay so right now we have the screen one and that one is the screen two let's just focus on the light version and if you take a look closely here you will see the background images of the overlays not properly set up uh, if you take a look on the example website you will see some difference but don't worry we will fix this uh, later in this video so let's just focus on the background image so it will be uh, very easy to manage it from here so we will just hide the dark version and here we will search for the hero section here just give me a moment let me find the uh, section here okay this one is the section and if you take a look on the right side fill you will see the background image so click on this image and just fix the image size from here okay that's it and we will take care of the background overlay later in this video so don't worry about it so our basic uh, structure is done if you want to improve it you can do that as well but uh, right now this design is look okay to me on the second part we will go to the elementor plugin page again and we will search for ui ui chemi and on the ui chemi this is the plugin we are talking about the figma to elementor click on that and we will open this on the same file we are working on the third step this process is very easy you need to click on run after opening this plugin and it will ask for the activation so the activation key you will get for free just click on get UIHME key here and it will redirect you to the UIHME website here you can explore the other plans but we will go for the free one because right now uh, the free one is maybe offering you 10 export per month and which is enough for us so we will select the elementor and click on start free now it will ask for your uh, email first name and last name and no credit card required here so I will just fill this form and get back to you shortly now once you fill the form and click on free download it will redirect you this page here you will get the WordPress plugin uh, you need to download it because we will install this plugin on our WordPress website and this is the activation key here so click on copy and we will get back to the UI Chemi and paste the serial key so click on active and in a few seconds it will be activated now I'm just skipping all the tutorial if you want you can explore this tutorial from uh, this button but right now just skip this uh, tutorial and focus on the other thing now this window is really important here you will see you need to select an section on the figma so it will show you the exact section and here we will get two options one is the optimize and copy and second is the express copy the optimize and copy is basically if you know about figma then you can choose this option but if you are uh, you know 
have limited knowledge about Figma and you are expert in Elementor, we suggest you to go with the Express Copy because if you choose the uh, Optimize and Copy, it will ask you for some uh, optimization if you are, are not well aware about Figma. But you can definitely explore the Optimize and Copy option uh, if you have knowledge about Figma and it will ask you for some optimization. Sometimes it's get manual. So in that way, we are just go for the express copy. Get back to the ex express copy here. Select that and click on express copy. Uh, now in few seconds, the JSON file is ready in your clipboard. Now uh, the copy process is done. What we need to do is we need to get back to the WordPress website. So this is our WordPress website. Just give me a moment. Let me open it. And on our WordPress website, we have theme as a Hello Elementor and we have Elementor plugin and we also have the plugin already installed, which we downloaded from UIGME website. On the plugin page, we have Elementor and we have UI Chemi, which is the necessary plugin in order to import the design from Figma. Uh, the plugin needs update, but let's just focus on the page. So we will open a new page here and we will name this page Squid Game Hero Section sorry hero section okay now let's just publish this page and once it's published click on elementor great so uh, let's go to the page setting, hide the title and make the page element or canvas. It will be easier for us to design this page. Now click on right button and select paste from other website as we already have the code copy in our uh, clipboard. Click on control plus V. So it will be uh, importing the JSON file we copy from the UI Chemi uh, in the Figma. Okay, so we have the Figma file imported in our Elementor and to be honest, this is not that bad. It's look good, good for uh, a start. Uh, you will see some uh, minor changes, of course. And one thing you will notice is the background image overlay. And most of the time, the uh, several time we test it is considered is uh, the UI Jimmy basically considered that as a separate image and the position uh, of this image is absolute. And this is one thing you will deal uh, deal a lot. So we will just remove this image and open the structure again. Go to the hero section, style, and on the background overlay, we will apply this image like uh, this one. Yes. So this is the image. Okay, looks great. Now we need to fix this alignment because this alignment is look a bit, bit off. One kind of problem you will face the most is the absolute problem. So uh, most of the element, it will make it absolute. You need to make it default like this. Okay, looks great. Now here we need to make it like, this is also absolute, but it will be absolute. The reason is uh, it should be on the right hand side. So we will just vertically fix the position. Okay. Looks good. Now we need to fix the horizontal orientation, which will be Okay. It should be minus one. Okay. Looks great. Okay, after you fix the alignment, you might see this kind of issue like the white space uh, due to the overflow of this element. Uh, we have an easy fix for that. So let's just open the structure, select the hero section and on the additional option, we will make the overflow hidden. So this problem will be fixed. 
now we have uh, another small issue which is this one we need to increase I guess the size yep 46 is look great okay now this is the uh, version we have so far let's just publish this site and uh, click on the preview changes and this is the website we have and it's look pretty good you can also include animation uh, like the example website this on the header you can include uh, an animation which will be fade down like this one you can select normal or slow and on this section you can select like fade in or something okay it should be slow so it will create a good animation okay looks great you can include another animation here particularly for this section just on the motion effect go to the fade from left I guess it should be from right yep okay looks good So this is the uh, way you can clone any website and turn into your Elementor web page. And I hope you enjoy the whole process. I know this is not 100%, but uh, it's not that bad. And you are already getting the structure and uh, sometimes things are, you know, just some misplaced, but you can fix it very easily. Now, uh, this is the same method you will use and clone any Figma design into your Elementor. And for an example, uh, let's go to the UI Chemi and they are offering some templates. So we will use some template from there and uh, it will be. And let me show you how you can turn any design into an Elementor web page. Basically, this is the same process. Just click on the UI Chemi and on the template option, you will get some very beautiful sections so in our case let's select a design from UHMA template uh, for an example this one or maybe something in the black so yep this one yes great uh, hide this one okay Okay, so this is the Figma design and if we go to convert and select this section, you will see we have this section and in this method, you can uh, turn any Figma design into Elementor web page. And uh, here is one thing I would like to mention is you will get only, I think, uh, 50 credit, export credit. So you need to keep that in your mind. If that exceeds, you need to upgrade your plan. Now click on express copy and the JSON file will be copied in our clipboard. So we will go to our web page and right button paste from other side and paste the code. So it will take a few seconds and after a few seconds, you will see we have the design. Now uh, there is some white space. So just click on this section, make it full width and remove the size and it will look just as expected so i really hope you like this video and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe this channel so in that way you will be notified whenever i upload video like this and also if you have any question feel free to uh, comment your issue or you can directly contact with us you will find the uh, contact link in the description box as well so Thank you so much and see you in the next one.